Hey guys, this is Crash, and I'm gonna be doing a review for the M601 hybrid kit from electronicsigs.com. By the way, I got it for free, so I don't really like keeping free stuff, so when I'm done playing with it, I'll just give it to someone. Yeah, I'll figure out how to do the giveaway later, but there, I'll do the review now. So, you open up the box, uh, it's got a nice little. It's a little magnetic box thingy, and in here, hold on. You've got I, I've got the hybrid kit, so I've got one manual battery and one automatic battery. Uh, two atomizers, two batteries, business card, manual. <clears throat> you get a charger and some cartridges. The cartridges are not pre-filled; they're empty. I'll show you what the cartridge looks like because I think that's pretty cool. Just get in here. Okay. There you go. Uh, what? What I found really interesting was the fact that the filler on the cart is it's just a piece of nylon, like almost as if you were using a pyramid tea bag. So that, that's essentially all it is. Here we go. There you go. That that's the filler inside it. So it's just a piece of nylon. I'm just going to put that back in. That and the cartridge itself will hold anywhere from 9 to 11 drops depending on the size of the drop. <clears throat> okay, uh, I didn't sit down and count the puffs because I have better things to do, but um, one full battery lasts uh, two cartridges, well for me anyway, which is which is pretty respectable. Um, let's see. Do a quick size comparison. Um, there you go. Uh, there's the 901 manual battery, and there is the M601. So if you compare it to size, it is smaller than the 901. But the battery, the battery on this uh, M601, is actually longer than the battery on the 901. Okay, um, let me see. Now, this is the charger for it. And that's if you want to charge it from your computer. If you want to, I haven't used this yet, but I don't think I will either. So, there you go. Um, you just pop that out. It's got a US plug on it. And there you go. You just plug that in, and you're good to go. The battery takes about 45 minutes to charge, give or take 5-10 minutes, I don't know, somewhere around there. So there we go, uh, I just got done charging this battery here. It's It does have a cutoff on it, I think it's about, I don't know, 10 seconds maybe, 7-10 to 10 seconds, and after that you can't puff on it for about 5 seconds, and after that you're good to go. So here's what the vapor looks like. So, I'm getting loads of vapor. Um, the taste is pretty similar to uh, 901. So, the liquid actually tastes pretty good. Um, the throat hit, I'm using 36 milligram juice in there, so the throat hit is an absolute killer. But even if I'm using just like uh, 11 milligram nicotine, I'm still getting a really nice throat hit. Uh, pretty much the same as 510, so. It's a good cross between a uh, 510 and a 901, you could say. Um, let's see, what else? The atomizer on this, it's actually got a... It's got an exposed atomizer. I haven't used this one, so... That, and it's actually got a really... I don't know if you can tell. It's got a really fat bridge here. I'll compare it to... Uh, 
we've got a 084 here so there we go compared to this is a DS, DSE 084 so if you're comparing bridges uh, this one's pretty it's pretty thick compared to this one okay let's see um, so manual battery and automatic battery they're both pretty much the same uh, they do have a little thing I don't know if you can really make that out it says electronic SIGs on it right there but it's really small you can hardly see it so that's the manual battery um, I've been using that for a while so I'll just do it with a fresh battery now Um, here I'll I'll try to go ahead and hit the cutoff on it. It so it does take a while. I don't usually take puffs that are that long, and I never really hit the cutoff. But I'll I'll try to hit it here. That's the cutoff on it. So there you go, you can't puff it for say five seconds maybe. Okay, give it another second or two. Uh, here I'll do another size comparison while I'm at it. Uh, there's the Protege. Maybe someone's got that, so it's a little bigger than the Protege. Um, here's the Slim the GG Slim so compared to that there you go so compared to that and geez. uh... here's the transformer so compared to that I don't know I don't see anything else around that I can compare. oh there we go pack of cigarettes <coughs> Real cigarette, fake cigarette. There you go. That's what the size is like compared to a cigarette. But yeah, the cards, the cards tend to hold the juice really well, so I don't really have any complaints from it so far. I've been using it for a couple of days now. I took it to college with me as well. Um, it works it works great I, I love the exposed atomizers they're pretty cool but the only other e-cigarette that I've used with an exposed atomizer is the DSC 084 and for some reason they, they tend to produce great vapor that's just my opinion now but I don't know uh, I can't really complain I suppose um, I don't know if anyone's got any questions comments whatever uh, I'll be more than happy to answer them as long as it's not a stupid question then I'm probably just gonna ignore you uh... let's see what else uh... that and I did get it for free like I said so here what I'll do is um... I'll post this up on ECF so if you let's say fifty words or is that a bit too much I don't know yep yeah, let's just say fifty words or less why you should get it and I won't be deciding who gets it myself what I'll do is I'll get in touch with Sean over I think that's his name, yeah. Sean at Electronic Sigs and I will just let him pick the winner and I'll just post it out to you. So I think I think that sounds fair enough. Right, well I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this up on ECF and if anybody else or if anybody, period, has any questions, um just get in touch with me and well we will see what we can do. Alright, well, this is Crash, and I will catch you guys around the forums, or, you know, whatever. MSN, Facebook, you know, whatever you have me added on. Alright, well, I'll catch you guys later.